It's Technic Tuesday again. Let's roll the intro. She got two little horns and they give me a little. Okay, so you clicked on this video because you want to know how to edit a monochrome photo. So you want one color in your photo, nothing, you're plain dude, you just want one color in your photo. You don't want any other colors, you just want that one color. Now I'm going to show you guys how to do that. So firstly, you need to plan out your photo. This is essential for any photo, any great photo. You just take like five minutes to plan out, okay, I want to have a photo where I'm standing and I want red to be the main color, which is that color there. Or blue, yellow, anything really you feel like. So the way you do this is you plan out, you plan out which color you want, roughly. And if you get a photo where it just kind of works out, go with it, use it. But in this case, plan out. So let's say I want to take a red photo, like everything needs to be black and white and just my red shirt needs to be the main photo. So how do I do that? So I plan out firstly, I'm gonna go to somewhere where there's no red, like it can be gray, it can be green, it can be anything except red can be in the background. Now what you can do is you import this photo into the Lightroom CC app, which is a free awesome app on the app store for Android, iPhone, everything. So you get that and then you go to the color tab. Now in this tab, I've shown you guys a few things in a previous video. So Bear with me, it looks intimidating now, but it really isn't. So, when you click on the color tab, you'll see in the top right corner, like at the bottom of the tab, there is a little mix button. Then you click on that. That gives you another little menu down there. Now this menu has U, saturation, and luminance. So, U is obviously the color. That means if you take it one side, it'll change color. If you take it the other side, it'll change color. So with red, if you take it to the right, it'll go orange. If you take it to the left, it'll go more purple, pink color. So that's basically what that does. Um, saturation is easy, everyone knows saturation. If you take it down, it makes it black, gray, whatever you want to call it. That's what it does. Luminance makes it more bright or less bright, so you can use that to however you want. I don't tend to use it too much, but you can. Now, how do I get just red to stay there? Now, it's pretty as simple as you might think. You just go to all the other colors and desaturate them all, all the way. And this will leave you with that monochromatic look. So let's take the most famous photo of this monochromatic look that I always remember. I did like, I think nine photos where it was all kind of monochromatic. This one was on UJ Stadium. I think it's UJ Stadium, I'm not sure, but I know it was a blue track. Now, ironically enough, my running clothes also had blue in them. And this meant there was an overwhelming amount of blue and I like that. And I could not edit this photo any other way with the other colors in there to make it look cool, but it was a really nice photo. So I decided to desaturate all the other colors and I came out with this. Now, what did it look like before? That. So you can see it does a lot and it makes a totally different photo. And if you like black and white, but you want to make it stand out a little bit more, this is a good way to do that. So you can use this on any photo, any color, anything. You just need to make sure whatever color you want is the only color that's in the picture in the background or next to you or whatever. So some colors are hard, like browns are really hard. So I'd recommend sticking to primary colors like red, green, blue, like just these bright one-tone colors, not brown or gold or silver. Those things are a little bit hard to figure out, but yeah. So if you guys stick through the video till now, I'm very proud. I'm gonna plug my Instagram right now because you might wanna go see some of these photos. They were a bit old. So scroll down, go stalk me a bit, it's fine. Instagram links are down below. I also have a photography page if you wanna go check that out. Uh, also down below. And if you wanna know how I edit my photos, there's a video up here. So yeah, if you enjoyed the video, please like. I really appreciate when you like. It shows me you guys like the video, obviously, and it helps out the channel. Also, you can leave a comment telling me what a dumbass I am. I don't mind. You can say literally anything, even if it's just, you can even comment an emoji. Like, comment as many emojis as you possibly can and let's see how long that comment can get. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed the video, I hope you did. I really do. I do take a lot of time and effort into making these little videos. So yeah, this has been Dev and this technique Tuesday is over and I'm out.